Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. Trump signs four executive orders in first 72 hours of presidency. The girls are finding out fast just how quickly what can be done with a pen and a phone can be undone by a pen and a phone, thanks to a series of executive orders by President Donald Trump undoing much of former President Barack Obama's legacy in Trump's first days. If you were a conservative and you had some doubt about the trajectory of the Trump administration, this first batch of actions should help put your mind at ease. It may be hard to keep track of them, so here's a quick list courtesy of Fox News. In order to ease the regulatory burdens of Obamacare, one of the president's first executive actions said that agencies must waive, defer, grant exemptions from, or delay the implementation of any provision or requirement of Obamacare that would place a fiscal burden on any state or a cost, fee, tax, penalty, or regulatory burden on individuals, families, health care providers, health insurers, patients recipients of health care services, purchasers of health insurance, or makers of medical devices, products, or medications. An earlier Fox News story also reported the order said states should encourage the development of a free and open market and interstate commerce for the offering of health care services and health insurance. Freeze on federal hiring, except for military, as part of the new president's promised efforts to shrink the size of the federal government. Trump ordered a hiring freeze Monday that would reduce the size of the federal bureaucracy through attrition. This would not apply to the military, however, which Trump has promised to strengthen. Withdrawal from the Trans-Pacific Partnership The Trans-Pacific Partnership, a proposed free trade agreement that would ship some American jobs overseas, was a constant target of Trump's when he was on the campaign trail. So it wasn't surprising when he signed an order announcing his intention to withdraw the United States from TPP negotiations. We've been talking about this for a long time, Trump said as he signed it, according to the Washington Post. Great thing for the American worker. Reinstating the Mexico City abortion funding policy, Trump revived a rule first adopted under the Reagan administration that prevents federal funding from being given to organizations that perform or promote abortions during their international aid work. It's generally been kept under Republican administrations while being eschewed under Democrats. What's next? We can only speculate, but hopefully the awesome is only getting started. Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter if you support Donald Trump's executive actions. Do you support Trump's executive actions so far? Scroll down to comment below. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.